everyone it's Anna at Heart and Hobby welcome back to my channel today we are going to be going over my monthly sped for March I'm so excited I cannot believe it's already March it means that my baby is already almost seven months old time is going by so fast there is so much going on it seems like everything is so crazy right now but I'm so happy to have you here and I can't wait to show you what my dessert design is for March. As you guys know, if you've been following along, I am doing a dessert design for every single month this month. And this month I am doing, yeah, that's right, you guessed it, English trifles. So a trifle is a um English dessert and basically it's like a whole bunch of like um pudding, jello, uh meringue, berries and like really good yummy sugary stuff in a bowl and it is so pretty and I just thought this was like the perfect dessert for March because it's like kind of gets you into the idea of spring but it's yummy and light and it's got a lot of fun colors so that is what I'm doing for March. As you can see here, I've just been drawing out my March monthly outline and I'm just kind of adding in some fun details with my white jelly roller. Again, I'm using all my typical markers, my Tomboys and my Copics, and I'm just kind of doodling for my March. So here is the cover page for my March spread. Um, and you can see here, I have drawn out the bowl, which is the glass bowl that the trifle sits in. Then I'm just kind of outlining it and giving some additional details. I then am making kind of bubbly-ish bubbly letters for March, and I think I'm gonna leave them empty. I don't think I'm gonna color them in. And then in the background, I'm just taking my Tombow markers and I'm coloring in all the different layers of the trifle. So on the bottom is the pudding, and then the next layer is going to be um, what I would call jello with a little bit of strawberry in it. And then the top is the meringue, and then topped on top of that are the berries. And so it's just kind of really fun, bright colors, really happy. I thought this was a really fun idea um, and also like again something that I really would like to make in real life so I'm super excited about this um, March cover. To make it as realistic as possible I actually looked up pictures of trifle online and just kind of took inspiration from a whole bunch of different like real recipes and so I'm kind of filling in um, the background to make it look like there is some more um, like pudding or jello or something behind the actual uh, roll, Swiss rolls that are in the trifle. So now I'm just coloring in each of the strawberries. And again, I didn't make it like straight across. I kind of made it kind of curvy because I wanted to really replicate what a real trifle looks like. So I'm just filling those strawberries in and leaving the centers white because when you cut into the center of a strawberry, it actually is a little bit white in the center. So again, just adding in really simple details. It's really quick and easy and not complicated to do at all. Oh, forgot to fill something in down there. And then I'm taking my white pen and just making the Swiss rolls look like they have like a little bit of cream in them as well. So again, just all these little details that make it really look like a real dessert, which is really fun. Next, I am outlining the meringue that sits on top of the trifle. So um, this also, I think, can also be whipped cream. I'm not sure. And I'm not really sure how well I pulled off the meringue type stiff peaks, but I did my best. And then I just went back in and colored in some berries on the top. I did strawberries and blueberries. And this was just kind of a fun way to just add a little bit of color back on the top of the um, bowl. So super simple, really easy to do, and I thought the overall appearance looked really, really good. I was really happy with it. Now, as you guys know, I do the same basic outline for my monthly spread every single month. I find it really easy to keep the same outline. It totally keeps me organized. I love it. It has everything that I need. So I'm going to just kind of let this go through really quickly because you guys kind of already know what I do. If you don't know or if you want a more closer detailed version of this, I will link my um, first couple of months, January and February below, so you can see exactly how I outline each of my monthly spreads and what is included that I use every single month. So I will make sure to link that below for you guys.
as a bonus, I actually have started adding something um behind my monthly spread. And that's basically just like a really quick, um, I would call it like maybe a social media calendar for my business, Heart and Hobby. And this is really helping me keep organized. I can find it really overwhelming if I break it down by month because it's like there's so much and so many days in the month that I get kind of overwhelmed. to break down my different types of social media um, platforms that I use. And then on the right hand side are going to be actually the weekly calendar. So I'm actually going to break it down like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and what my goals are to achieve for my business every single one of those days. Now, some days I'm not going to get anything done and that's okay. And then some days I might get a lot done. So I'm just going to have a really simple, clean way to break it down each week. And then I also leave room underneath heart and hobby just to decide what my theme is going to be each month, which is really fun. So that is it, you guys. This was a really simple, fun March layout. I kept the video kind of quick. I have so much going on right now between my baby and my dog has cancer. I am doing a channel on that as well. So if you want to watch, follow along for BB's cancer journey. But thank you so much. <laughs>